Hey, what's up guys? It's B here with Colin Motor TV and today I'll take you on the ride to work with me. A lot of people always ask, how, how is it to ride on your motorcycle to San Francisco? And the answer is, it sucks. Um, today the traffic really isn't that bad so far. Um, it's kind of like a roll and go uh, rather than a bumper to bumper stop and go. So people kind of move out of the way still and are not as angry at their morning commute. Uh, it's definitely better than driving. I would not want to do this drive. So yeah. Um, so why do I go to San Francisco? So a lot of people think Bill and I do the college practice thing as our thing. That's really just a passion project. It doesn't make us any money whatsoever. So I have a real job. I work for a gaming company in San Francisco. We make a little uh, app called Solitaire Tri-Peaks. Check it out. It's really fun. It's a little card game and I love it. It's really cute. I love everyone on my team. Everyone is just really so stoked to be on that product and figuring out new things and it, it's really fun to work in that environment. I've been in gaming for quite a few years now and um, I couldn't imagine going anywhere else. I don't think I could work in like a proper corporate environment. It would be very... Uh, I, can't, I can't imagine it. So anyways, there's some lights going on over there. So lane splitting is less, somewhat legal in California. It's really weird. They uh, they had those like those rules and guidelines posted up about you know rules like guidelines for, for lane splitting. But recently they've been taken down because I guess it wasn't approved by anyone to post whatever they posted. But most of the rules are like this common sense thing. I don't know like why you would do something else than what they posted. So that's kind of interesting. But as far as I'm concerned, it's legal. I'm doing it. Um, it. It's so much safer. People rear end each other all the time. I see it all the time. There's always someone rear ended at somewhere at some point during my commute, and I'd rather not get rear ended. Obviously, if you split at 300 miles an hour through traffic, that that won't be good for you either. But I have kind of my toodle pace. I feel comfortable with whatever I'm doing. I turn my hazards on and we make it eventually there's a lot of guys that split much much faster than me i kind of wave them past they try to make get out of the way you know if they're in a rush they're in a rush and it, it gets really frustrating i get stuck behind those people that split really really slow and you're like move over please and they just won't and it's frustrating it's typically guys with really big harleys it's like my bike is half your size i will fit through where you won't so just let me pass pretty please pretty pretty please so as you can see people it's kind of wide enough here to fit through um people typically move over like this guy it's nice um people do jump up in front of you um without indicating a lot but um i ride on my little and my trust mt has abs brakes so that helps a lot i rode on road fives um for tires and they really stop really really quick i was really surprised the first day i commuted on them and someone pulled up in front of me so i pulled on the lever i used the rear brake to get that bike to stop and it just stopped on a dime I, I was really shocked how well those tires brake so if you're looking for a good commute tire Michelin Road 5's I, I really like him you kind of get a lot of bang for your buck I think it's like I'm at like 5,000 miles on that tire with some track time canyon riding and commuting on the straight and there's not even like a hint of a flat spot I love it so the really cool thing about uh, lane splitting is you can use the carpool lane and you can use the little side lanes that are for typically buses but during commute hours they turn into carpool lanes so I see a lot of people trying to squeeze through over there and I'm like why are you trying to die you, you really can just take that lane and that skips over so much traffic I got stuck one time for whatever reason over there and it was such a pain in the butt to get through the gates 
get ahead of that little Prius here. One of them anyway. So th this is so much more convenient. So you can see San Francisco is over there. The bridge is over there. That's where we're heading. You know, I, I really have a hard time with San Francisco. It's so dirty and gross and there's a lot of homeless people and crazy people. And I don't know, a lot of people are like, I love the city, I love it, I love it. I'm like, why? It smells funny. So I, I typically just go to work. I, I don't even go out for lunch most of the days because I'm like, well, it's, it's kind of gross. I, 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 I ride the horses, I like the countryside. I like, I like being out of the city. So Dixon is kind of a good fit. I used to live in Hollister, so it was very rednecky. So, Moving to Dixon was kind of fun since it's just another great city. It always fascinates me how many people cheat carpool. It's a pretty fat ticket, and CHP sits um, on the way back home. Typically, they sit on that little divider, and there's still like every day there's people in the carpool lane just by themselves. And you're like, well, that's gonna not be cheap so you can see there's like all that traffic down there and we're skipping all that look at that it's crazy like how do people do that every day on their car i would go insane i i used to commute from hollister to palo Alto, and i i commuted actually from dixon to palo Alto, but during off hours and i tried audio books and everything and yeah I it's tough but this I would just go berserk I think it takes me like in a car it would take me like three hours and look at that we're already through all that and heading over the bridge already I will be still parked somewhere I don't know so I'm back there in Vallejo probably Um, interesting a lot of people have their ways of getting across um, I like getting over to this lane I see a lot of people's lanes put on the other side I don't like it as much but um, I, I kind of feel always like in those two lanes people are a little more aware of you but towards the end it gets really narrow so I do switch to the other side because there's more room it feels like so I don't know it might be it may not make absolutely no sense what I'm doing, but it feels safer to me. I feel more comfortable, so that works for me. There's a lot of fog today. Sometimes it's clear enough that you can see down. See all the stuff on the other side. Oh, traffic kind of stopping again. Let's see what this is all about. It's kind of funny when people do that. It's like, I appreciate if you move over a little, but like, don't go into the shoulder. You're gonna pick up some nails. Just scoot over to the line. That's plenty of room for me. My, my bike really isn't that big. Uh, I love those little speed threes. I really like that color too. They look like they're smiling all the time. Woo. So again, traffic today, not as bad as it could be um there is someone behind me i'm gonna let him pass traffic uh, traffic not as bad as it could be uh it gets much 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 worse um it, i hate when it's like a pure stop and people do the dumbest stuff it's like all the lanes are stopped but i'm gonna try moving over right now and then they're like parked in the middle of the lane and it's bleh. As long as they're moving, the drivers seem to be like preoccupied with going forward rather than left to right. And as long as they go forward and not left to right, I'm solid. So as you can see, people like kind of stay out of the way. I think there's enough um, motorcycles coming through here. There's a lot of motorcycles coming through here. It's been um, it's been 
kind of cold and rainy, but they're still in the garage where I park. There's still always motorcycles. Um, there's always, always, I see the same bikes. People have just commuted all year round. I mean, uh, and again, I could not do this in the car. There, there's no way. I would, you know, you know see shit. Um, I, I could not do that. It's just absolutely, oh, hell no. So there's where it starts to get problematic when you have buses. They are just so big. And this, so here it starts to get really, really narrow. See how there's already three motorcycles that have been passed? So here it starts to get really, really narrow. Let's slow down and we're gonna flip my hazards on. And I do want to make my way over to the right because I'm going to be exiting right after the bridge. So there's San Francisco, you can see it. Cluster of buildings and more buildings and Salesforce Tower poking out of there. That thing is ginormous and it popped up pretty fast, in my opinion anyway, for something this big. So let's scoot over here. nicely so I still have a little ways to go but I like being on this side a little better so yeah San Francisco in all its glory or so you see big tower over there Salesforce, Salesforce tower oh, there's another commuter so make sure to say hi to that person and let's squeeze through here. So here it starts to get really tight. Um, I actually really like taking the BMW occasionally because in, on the BMW I can fold in the mirrors. So I typically have that problem with trucks that my mirrors are right where their mirrors are and I just don't particularly fit. So what are you doing? So this person, so see, and then this person's got to be a douchebag and not let that Prius in. And that, that's how traffic is created, because that person is a douchebag. Here, see, douchebag. All right, let's continue. So yeah, it does get pretty tight, so it's kind of nice through the city uh, when I can flip in my mirrors. So, like, I can kind of squeeze between mirrors and their mirrors and not bump mirrors. I do bump mirrors occasionally, sorry everyone. Just move out of the way a little. Exit, which is nicely very nice very nice very nice I always feel like I, I sometimes there's like a motorcycle in each lane and I feel like we're playing Frogger who gets through without getting hit by something and thankfully knock a wood I, I, I don't really see a lot of motorcycles taken out I see occasionally someone on the side of the road but it's it's really rare but I know there's a lot of accidents with motorcycles so stay safe out there and we have this fella with his nice little vest. You know, I, I tried riding with a vest. I had my instructor vest on for a while, but oh, that's nice of him. Or him. Um, I had my instructor vest for a while, but other than being a pain in the ass for me to put on and off, um, I didn't really, I don't know, I didn't, I wasn't feeling it and I don't really ride in the dark. Maybe the reflective in the dark might help, but um, yeah, I, I, my motorcycle is pretty loud. I hope that helps a little. Um, and the hazards. I really like the hazards. We still haven't installed the fog lights that I got for this bike. Or, well, Bill got me for my birthday. It's almost my birthday soon again. We really got to install the fog lights. Babe, can we install the fog lights, please? So we're taking this exit. And it's always sometimes tricky here. Because people realize last minute that... They won't or don't want go through here, so a lot of times you do see um, people cutting over. So this worked out nicely. Sometimes this is all backed up too, and then you have the, here people are always like switching between lanes. So um, 
they block the road a lot of times and then you have to kind of weasel your way through. The nice thing is with the MT, the bars turn really, really far. So I can make pretty tight turns pretty easily. I can't, like on DR6, it has like absolutely no turning ability. I would not want to ride that to work at all. So we're taking Fremont Street. So they, they built that Salesforce transit station and it was like grand opening of the transit station during I believe Salesforce week and they found out that this thing is there's some constructual constructual issue with it so you're gonna see just in a second here it's being built on again and see this guy he doesn't know how lane works and he's got to cut off everyone so they're building on it again it's great um it causes so much traffic right now through here tight 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 let's try rolling forward and this guy oh, we can fit through here so you can see there's like some bracing pillar in the middle and the road is really tight now so i i hardly can get through and then there's this truck and i don't really want to die so you know goal number one don't get dead to so see how it's really really freakishly tight through here so this sucks and then obviously the roads suck so another nice thing the or the, the MT suspension is pretty darn cushy look there is a taxi so the suspension is pretty cushy uh, whenever I do take the BMW I get like chiropractic adjustment with it but we're getting through pretty good here and we're gonna take a left up here so again here it's a pretty it's a turn where people kind of merge however they feel like so gotta be really careful and squeeze 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 and this is definitely still yellow 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 and we're gonna go over here and now oh, we're gonna go over here and i know this is probably not 100 percent okay but it is what it is um it gets me through the city so this whole road was dug up the other week Ugh, it was horrible to get through horrible 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 but thankfully they finished that you can see it's all bumpy through here so yeah we're, we're almost there so when uh, I first got the job, I kind of looked how to get where I'm going to get. And I really freaked out because of that big hill over there. And on my R6, I actually work right here. On the left is my work. Um, so on my R6, I can hardly touch the ground. So I really freaked out because of that hill. If I get stuck on that hill in traffic and I have to do, like hold the brake with one foot and try holding up the bike and oh my god i so that's why i actually bought this bike i never intended this to be like my primary bike i just really fell in love with it let's go let's go let's go almost there It's funny, sometimes I see people, especially when I have a visor up, give me like a thumbs up or whatever. And it's it's kind of funny. It doesn't happen too often, but it happens. I get a kick out of it. You know, the MT is kind of like this pig. It's kind of loud. It's kind of a little big looking and it's kind of noisy and it's just torquey and wants to go so it's kind of funny that little old me is riding this bike let's see if and let's go over here so one more turn and we're there stop and sutter uh so anyways guys, I'm almost where I belong, so thanks for riding with me through the city. 
it's it's kind of crazy if you watch it but it's uh it's not that bad and today it, the traffic wasn't bad so um that was nice i got through all right it can be much worse so this is like a six out of ten in terms of how shitty is it to go to san francisco if you want to get an idea if you're thinking about commuting uh this is a six out of ten so get ready so thank you guys for watching please make sure to drop a comment below hit the subscribe button ring the bell to get notifications and i'll see you in the next video bye bye